Steve Spangler's here, and he brings with him a wad of cash. A wad of just doing this all the time. It's exactly, yeah, with money, $1 money, money. bills, with $1 Singleton. bills. You know, it's tax time, and people are thinking about money, aren't they? They're thinking about how to keep money, and then, but then you're thinking, what about counterfeit bills? Oh, aren't yeah. You? All the yes. time, you think about That's that. That's all I think all about. All the yeah. time. Yeah. You always wonder. Yeah, yeah, always wonder. Believe it or not, you can determine whether or not, uh, do you have a $100 bill? If you had a $100 bill, <laughs> it no. would be, you don't have that? No. Yeah. No. Kim? No. Okay. But I knew Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> yes. I have a 10 <laughs> Well, right this now. isn't going to be all that exciting. But uh, the, so here's what you're going to need just a, a single dollar bill. I got you a dollar bill over there. Take it out? Yep, please. You can pick okay. up your dollar bill right there. You want to fold it so you get a little kind of fold like this because you're going to see Doesn't why here in just way? a second. Yeah, no. just, okay. just a nice little That's fold. Good. I'll hold it there. There you go. <gasps> Perfect. Now, we have a strong magnet. Sitting in front of you is a neodymium magnet. Ooh. And in fact, here, why don't we try this, Kim? Here, hold out your hand. Okay. <clears throat> you don't have a heart condition, do you? Okay, so no, here we go. The magnet goes of. here like okay. this. Stay right there. All right, so watch this. Stay there. Stay. Oh, can you? Oh is my that goodness. crazy? Yeah, that's intense. These are super, super strong magnets. Yeah. Neodymium. Called neodymium yeah. magnets. All right, so hang on there. I'm oh, sorry, I don't mean to. Uh, that's it's tough, isn't it? Okay. All right, so now watch this. Uh, hold it back so you can get a good shot. If you take a mag magnet, a neodymium, these are just rare earth magnets, and you can find it at the hardware store. Watch what happens when you get close. Try it with yours. Oh <gasps> yeah! Look at that. Okay. Now that is not static electricity right there. You're actually attracted. Oh. See how that works? So that would maybe, maybe indicate that there's something in there that is attracted to the magnet. And believe it or not, there's iron in the dollar bill. Now you can't really prove that unless you use this next step. So here's what you do. What do we always say, Tom? Never try this at home. Never. Try it at a go someone else's friend's house. Friend's home. That's right. right. So now look at the blender. Or not found, yes, yeah, I found the blender at uh, like a garage sale or something because you never want to put any type of food in this ever again. Because here's what you do, kids. <laughs> I hope you're watching closely. You drop the dollar bill in here. Some of you are saying that is against the law, and it's not. Here, Kim, reach over and turn it on. If you whoa, get somebody whoa, wait, else to turn to me it on. Explain to why that's not against the law. Oh, because oh, you're going to do I'm it. No, do no, it. No, 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 no. Honestly, no. you can actually do this. I can't talk when it's going over. So ready? Three, two, one. Turn it on. Nice. You gotta grind up the dollar bill, right. okay? You're ripping apart the fibers. You're ripping it apart and you're gonna do that for about 30 seconds or so. You need a little bit more, but through the magic of television, I've prepared two for both of you. Previously. Okay? Previously done, so this one is yours, so okay. take a look at this. Here's why this is not against the law. The law says that you can't destroy money and then try to pass it. So if uh, you write on, write on a dollar uh, bill and try to pass it, that's against the law, but not what you're doing here. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna hold it flat like this, okay. and then you, you're gonna put the magnet on top, So put the, and put your hand on top here. Okay. Good job, turn the whole thing upside down, shake it around. Turn it upside down. Like this? Take it around. Yep, move it around. Good job. If there really is iron in that dollar bill, when you turn it back over again, oh. good job, turn it over. Now, very oh, carefully, sorry. carefully. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Through my I'll help magnet. you. Now, you're there. I get to you're there. Over. And hold it down a little bit so the camera can see. Would you do that, Tom? Pull it down so the camera can see. So we're going to do this and now pull it out and look at the iron in the dollar bill. There, there, there it, it is. Look at this. That is the iron that they actually put in there. So why do they do that? Because they actually put sensors in uh, vending machines, for example. So if you try to feed in a bill that doesn't have That's the why iron it doesn't inside, go in? That's exactly right. So it'll come back and the alarm will sound or it'll kick it back out again. Right. So it's one of the ways, I mean, there's very sophisticated ways, sure. of course, with little strips and everything else, but who would have thought a dollar bill would be important enough that they would use metallic ink and you can actually pull the iron out of the dollar bill. You can do the same thing with total cereal. So believe it or not, the same thing we just did, take total cereal and <laughs> grind some total cereal up. You will find roughly sheared ingot iron in your total cereal as well. There's a certain amount of irony to that. Thank you very much. See, the jokes uh, just uh, keep uh, going. Uh, I, I love that. I so do much. like the George Washington it, daiquiri you made, too. <laughs> it is. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, your, a it's liquid assets. That's what it is. It's liquid. There you go. We should probably stop while we're at it. I put all of it online, so you'll find it either on the Facebook page uh, or head over to 9news.com, and all the experiments are up there as well. You need this back? No, no, it's yours. That's your, it's, you did such a nice job. Thank you. We will be right back. Like I lost asset. another dollar.